Welcome to Durham Amy's Iron Church Visionary Outreach Broadcast. Your host is Reverend Letter A. Edwards. Now, let us enter in service. Pops. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we are changed. And we are changed numbers once again. And we are really appreciated that both of them had consented to come and be Amen. with us on today. Amen. 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 And particularly, Brother Willie has moved to Connecticut. Oh, and so he has come, got up early today. Amen. Amen. put in the plate. I want you to put something in his hand. Amen. 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 I want you just to put something in his hand. Amen. Because as he leave here, I don't know whatever plans he got, but I do know wherever he gonna lay his head at, he gonna have to wind up getting back to Connecticut one way or another. Amen. And so, instead of me trying to do it, I think if y'all just go ahead and put something in his hand just to let him know. It don't matter what the sum is. Sometimes it's just the act of kindness. Amen. Amen. And appreciation. And don't forget about Kevin now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. He had he, he, oh, yeah. he didn't have to, but that's the type of man that Kevin is. He, he's not jealous. He ain't he doesn't operate on that level. Amen. Amen. And so we are so grateful once again that we are gathered here today on another Christmas Eve, Amen. on another Christmas Sunday, amen, that God has allowed us to come together one more time. Amen. We have to value, no matter, you know, what is in front of us right now, you know, you know, sometimes a Many times I have gotten so caught up with numbers and figures because that's what I do for most of my life, and right? I deal with numbers. But man, I tell you, you know, this experience right here makes me to be real grateful. Not counting numbers, but just appreciative of who God is blessing us with. Amen. Because y'all are valuable in His sight. Amen. You're valuable in God's sight. Now, whatever God values, we ought to value. Amen. We ought, we ought to value what God values. Amen. 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 I didn't even open up the service with prayer yet. Amen. 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 My Father and our God, we thank you. And praise your name and your glory. Because you have already worked out a present for us. Just by granting us the gift of family. And what that family brings to us at the table. Now God, help us to take our mind off of ourselves. I know, oh Father God, that there are so many things that, 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 that may be weighing on our minds and on our hearts. But I ask, O oh Father God, that you will free us from that just for a little while. Yes, Lord. That we may be able to focus in on you. Truly, you are the reason for our season that we are in right now. Yes, Lord. And it does not matter, O oh Father God, what type of material gifts or possessions that we may have to exchange and to receive. The most important gift that we can ever have that we can ever receive is the gift of Jesus Christ our yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you God and bless your name. And as we move through this worshiping service oh Father God I I, I, I want you to do something, Lord. I, I, I just want you to take control over the whole matter. I, I, I want to lift my hands off of it, oh, Father God. Use me that in, 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 in your hands as you plan so that you may receive glory, that you may receive honor, that you may receive praise. We thank you for this. Thank you, Lord. And bless your name. 
In Jesus Christ, our oh Lord, we pray. Let the children of God say amen. Amen, amen and amen. Come on, put your hands together. Give God a praise. We also want to pray for um, Brother Neil Washington. You know, as he is home, he is not feeling well. Amen. We just want to acknowledge him. He signed on. Amen. And we want to wish him a speedy recovery. Amen. A speedy recovery. So grateful, amen, that he was able to stand in this place on last week while we was down in Florida being with my mother. Amen. Amen. Surprise my mom out of her out of her mind. She just hid underneath the sheets. You couldn't believe her eyes. And so it was good for us to be there. Amen. But mom is now back on the island of Angola. Amen. 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 She arrived safely and we are grateful. Amen. Amen. That we had the opportunity to do so. Amen. But there's a word from the Lord for you on the day. There's a word from the Lord taken from the gospel according to Luke, the second chapter. Luke, the second chapter. And let me know when you're there by saying amen. We're going to start at the 8th verse. Amen. Luke, the second chapter. Amen. This is like my favorite time of the year. Amen. This is my favorite time of the year. I know folk get a little down and everything like that, but. I like to see, can I pick some of them up? Amen. Amen. Luke, the second chapter, starting at the eighth verse. Amen. Amen. We will. And there, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them. And they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothing, clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even into Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Let us, let, let us go and see this thing. Let us go and, 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 and take a gander. Take, take a look for ourselves. Let's not take the, take just the word, but, but let us go and see with ourselves what the Lord has told us on today. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add his richest blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. May he sanctify in their hearts by faith and thanksgiving. Let the children of God say amen. 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 amen and amen. At this particular time, I usually call upon, you know, Brother Washington to sing a song. Amen. Obviously, that's not going to happen on the day. Amen. I'm not sure whether that you got a song in your pocket. I'm not sure. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. You used to have a song in your pocket. Amen. I'm not sure whether that you got a song anymore, but I'm going to ask anyhow. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He, he said yes, which I knew he would. Amen. Come on, y'all. Just put your hands together. Sometimes we got to operate by faith. Amen. 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 We need to knock, knock, put the microphone by him, please. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Just utilize this microphone and we will be good. Amen. with us as we get this whole thing set up. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. I, I told to leave it alone. We family in here. Just because I've been gone for a while don't mean I don't know what to do at home. We we, we not brand new to this, right? <laughs> Amen. It's just, you know, listen, real quick, it's just really good to be back home. Amen. Let me say that one more time. It's good to be back home. So I'm going to act like I never left here, and I'm going to ask everybody to do this one quick thing. Let's give God our best praise real quick. I, I, wait a minute. I didn't say give me your best praise. I'm going to... I'm going to say this one more time. Let's give God our best praise. Come on, one more time. Let's give God our best praise. See, I'm not going to act like I'm new here. I'm going to act like I ain't never left because you know what? Once you enter into God's house, you are always home. So I'm going to look at you and say, what's up, sis? What's up, my brother? What's up, papa? What's up, everybody? It's been a long time, but God is still worthy of all praise. No matter how long you That changed my entire life. And I can say the same thing we are. That's the last time I stepped foot in this place. It was about 2019, 2020. A lot of things that has happened in my life. And what I have grown to know is that no matter what you're going through, you always have to keep God in front of you. No matter what the circumstances is, you have to find a reason to lift your hand to glory and say, thank you, Lord, for another moment. No matter what the problem is in front of you, look past that and say, God, I know if you did it for me before, you can do it for me again. So I'm going to say to you one more time, give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. So hallelujah. So now with all that said, now let me be, let me be proper. Give it on to God who's the head of my life <laughs> to the pastor of this church. To the pastor of this house, yes. to all the people of this house, give an honor to my father because he said it twice. Y'all heard that, right? Come and beat me yes. to the great Leonard A. Edwards. Y'all give him a hand clap. Yes. And I'm not going to be long. We get another three minutes. We're going to sing and we're going to get to work. But listen, this place is still amazing. Hallelujah. You know why? Somebody said it. Somebody caught on. Okay, Lord, you talking. Yes. Yes. See, when you close your eyes, you don't see anybody anyway, right? right? So sometimes you can't look with your physical eyes and say, where are the people? You have to close your eyes and say, God, I know you are here. Yes. So because of that alone, when I close my eyes, I can't look at your face. But I have to realize and acknowledge that the presence of the Lord is still in the building. And I don't know about you, but when I turn into the parking lot and I parked my car something familiar touched me and said oh man I know Jesus is still in the place so I just want to encourage you church to keep coming to church every single Sunday keep paying your tithes keep paying your offering because the people will come back to the presence of the Lord that's right that's right amen there was a falling away yes pandemic and things happen but in this time now I'm claiming it 
This church gonna be full next year. Hey, receive it. Receive it. You see, because you, it's because of you. It's because of you. It's because of you. It is because of you. It is because of you. If they continue to see you praising God, if they continue to see you pushing to God, if they continue to see you still being the same person, they have to say, "What must I do? What I need to do to get that?" Well, come to a place called Durham, 1892 Hesha Avenue. I may, I may have got that wrong, you know. But anyway, come to a place in Durham because the Spirit of the Lord is here. So I just want to try to be encouraged with that. I said, well, oh, I know I turned and I said, oh man, the president's still here. Okay. My, my, my. All right. It didn't take one person leaving, two, three. The presence of the Lord is here. So if you want TV land, the presence of the Lord is here. Yeah. Amen. Come on back. Come on back home. It's time to time to we'll come on back. Amen. Amen. He didn't pay me to say this. Amen. But come on back. Come on back. This is just straight from the heart because I, I know I've been here for a long time and the presence of the Lord is still here. Amen. And with that, we're going to sing. But real quick, how great is our God? Oh, hey. Hey. My, 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 my. Hey. You know, that that question, it's a, it's, it's a real question within a question. You can ask it like, how great is our God? Or how great is our God? I'm going to answer that. Two questions we're going to sing. How great is our God is that he's name above all names. He's worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing, how great is our God. But then you say, how great is our God. That even though I'm in Connecticut, I ran into Pastor Edwards in Amityville. Even though I'm on the other side of town, I still get emails from Sister Sandra. Every day I get them emails and I'm still checking. All right, the church is still standing. But not only that, your bills paid, your bills paid. You may be struggling, but your bills pay. You may be struggling, but the heat, the heat is still on. The hot water is still running. Some of us, I know, I know I don't look like I'm Mr. Mew. Praise the Lord. Amen. So come on and sing along with me. How great is our God? Let's, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back to and do what we do. So what I want everybody to do is if, if we have any more mics or something set up, I don't want to be singing by myself. I want us to all just join together. So from right from where you are, Let's come on in and have some fun, amen. Let's give God our very best. This Let this Christmas Eve be our best. And let's try to do what I'll do this year, next year, amen. amen. Praise God. <laughs> Told you I would still be me. <laughs>
Lord. He's worthy of the praise. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. You know, it feels so good to know and to really understand that you don't have to do it by yourself. So many of us always believe that the whole world is on our shoulder. Amen. Any other microphone that's on, I need you to cut it off. Amen. Get a little bit of the feedback. But we are grateful. Amen. That, um, you know, even God decided that he didn't have to do it by himself. Do you, do you understand that? That even God said, I'm not going to try to even do this job of salvation by myself. I'm going to look over to the right and I'm going to ask my son to go. I could have went myself. But I don't have to do it by myself. If I don't say anything else today, you better hold on to that. Oh yeah, man. Yes. That moving into this day of celebration, you don't gotta do it by yourself. Right. Amen. And I'm going to tell you why you don't have to worry about being by yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Father and our God, we're coming up against the spirit right now of loneliness. We're coming up now, oh Father God, against the spirit, oh Father God, of apprehension, fear, anything that is contrary to your love, to your will. We rebuke it even right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for this. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We read for your hearing earlier coming from the gospel according to Luke, the second chapter. And uh, we read for your hearing the 8th through the 15th verse. The 8th through the 15th verse. And uh, we just want to pick up, you know, somewhere around, I believe, the 10th verse that says, The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be unto all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, good will towards men. I want to use as a topic on the day, your best is yet to come. Amen. Yeah. Your best, your best is yet to come. This world makes it real easy for somebody to quit. This world makes it real easy for people to give up. It really does. It, it seems like everything that is made is made to have you to be subjective to somebody else's will. And we find that we struggle most of our days. I don't know about you, but I struggle every day. And I am a man of God. And I know the word of God for myself. 
And I wake up morning after morning. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Ready and getting ready for the struggle. Can I get away with it? And sometimes I'm more prepared for it than other days. It's not those days where I'm prepared for it. It's really, really those days where I find that I'm at my lowest point. And yet I got to get up. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yet, yet I have to get up. Regardless of how I feel, I know the struggle's waiting for me. I know, amen, as soon as I even walk out the door, amen, I'm, I'm going to have to struggle with traffic. Well, yeah, yeah, you're talking to me. I have to, I have to struggle, amen, amen, wondering whether or not I can buy a cup of coffee. Or, 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 or do I have to pass it by because I got another bill I got to pay? I, when I get to the job, amen, folk is acting weird, mean, amen. Don't understand why folk are so mean and, and sometimes even reckless. Have you ever had folk that just outright reckless with your feelings? Oh, yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes, Amen. And it seems like, you know, you know, every time I get to a good place. Yes. And I'm not mean, you know, you know, just, just physically. But I get to a good place mentally in my mind. Because it, it's most of the time I'm fighting in my mind. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm just, I must be by myself. I must be by myself. But most of the time, I'm, I'm struggling in my mind. I, you know, you ask me, how you doing? I'm going to say, I'm doing good. I, the Lord has blessed me all the day. But, but in my mind, I'm fighting all sorts of demons. And I'm fighting all sorts of devils. And I'm fighting all sorts of imps. Oh, it's easy to say, oh, all you got to do is walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah, I'm walking by faith, but I still got this stuff going on inside of me. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? That's right. You understand what I'm talking about? Praise the Lord. Amen. And after a while, after a while, I'm glad you brought that up. After a while, you get tired. <laughs> sister Bradley laughing, amen. Amen. I see you, Sister Bradley. Me and you right here together, girl. You get tired. It wears you down. Come on, sir. Because every day that you go out there to meet the struggle is a day that you sacrifice it. Not just for yourself. Because if it was about yourself, you just keep your butt on. Why did I say that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amen. You know, sometimes my vocabulary slips. Praise the Lord. But if it, were, if, it, if it was really about you, you wouldn't even get up. You just lay in bed all day. Wouldn't even bother with all this nonsense. But the reason why you get up, the reason why you deal with what you deal with is because you know you got other people depending on you. Can I get a witness? You got other people that, 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 that they don't even know that they're counting on you. And so you know you got to get up and show up anyhow. Right. Regardless of what's going on inside of you and around you, right. you got to get up and go. Yeah. That's why I can empathize with these shepherds. I, I can empathize with them. Because I, I, I know they probably didn't want to be shepherds. Who, 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 who wants to mind sheep at night? It's cold. And if it's anything like me, I don't like the cold. 
<laughs> I came up in here a little chilly. I'm like, where well, Bob will go wrong? <laughs> I don't like the cold. I don't like the cold. I, I'm not. I'm not ashamed. I'm not a cold weather person. That's right. But if I had to go out at night to work to support. My family, I would have to bundle up and get out there anyhow. Although I don't like it, I got to do it anyhow. You know what that's called, y'all? That's called a sacrifice. That's called a sacrifice. And every day, you get up and you do what you don't want to do. But you do it anyway because you know somebody else is depending upon you to do it. And man, that's called a sacrifice. It's not a monetary sacrifice. It's a you sacrifice. You sacrificing yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're sacrificing yourself. Yes. Amen. So there may be peace. On earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That there may be peace in your house. That's right. That there may be peace in your family. Yes. Everybody, I pray, wants peace. Not everybody wants peace. That's but I pray everybody up in here wants peace. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And as we begin to examine that 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 cold night in Bethlehem. That, 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 that God decided not to go to the palace and tell the rich folk. He didn't go down to Wall Street. And he didn't hit Fifth Avenue. He didn't hit Madison Avenue. And he didn't go, he, you know, he went, he went right on down to find those same shepherds that already knew how to make a sacrifice. So I got good news for you. Amen. God sees a sacrifice. That's right. That's right. No, yes, see, you're listening. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 But God sees a sacrifice. Can I say it one more time? Amen. Amen. God knows what you're sacrificing. God knows your struggle. God knows what, what you got to go through each and every day. Although somebody else is not witnessing, nobody else is seeing it, nobody's patting you on the back, God sees your sacrifice that you make each and every day. And nobody's saying thank you to you, but God sees your sacrifice. Nobody's grateful for, for what you're doing for them. God sees your sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so grateful that I understand that God sees me for who I am. That's why I have to hold myself. Because God sees me for who I am. He sees me in, 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 in my up times. He, he sees me in my down times. He sees me in my in-between times. He sees me when I'm full of faith. He sees me when I'm doubtful. And then God sees me and assess me for who I am. Hallelujah. And because God sees me for who I am, I feel like these shepherds on that cold cold night in Bethlehem. Amen. That he decided to give them the good news first. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad? Amen. That God gives you good news first. I, I'm talking to somebody in here. Aren't you glad that God sees you and, and give you the good news? Amen. Amen. First. Amen. God got good news, amen. I got good news for you. I got good news for you, amen. And then that God says, I'm going to bless you like I ain't going to bless nobody else. I'm going to let you know that I seen your sacrifice. But I'm going to make a sacrifice and send my only son. And his name is Jesus. And you will find him. In swaddling the clothes, clothes that was borrowed, yeah. lying in a borrowed manger, yeah. 
And then you will find the greatest gift on the planet. Hanging out in the stalls with animals. You will find the flesh of my flesh. The son that is mine. That I'm going to give to you. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. you. Hallelujah. No wonder the angel said, fear not, Sammy. No wonder he told you to fear not. Hallelujah. Your best is yet to come. Hallelujah. Amen. Helen, that's why he told you, fear not. I know you're tired, but your best is yet to come. T, T, I see you back there. Amen. God says, no matter how much you have to struggle to make this thing work. Amen. God says, wait a minute. Amen. Amen. Your best. Come on, somebody. It's yet to come. I, I got I got something good for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As I look in this world. Amen. As I look at the world. Amen. I, I, I see something peculiar here that, that caught my attention. Sister Turner. Listen. God says. I'm not only will there be peace on earth, but he says goodwill yes. towards men. Yes. Hallelujah. And, and that caught me. Amen. That caught me. I, I wanted to know what is this thing called goodwill? I, I, I wanted to know well, why, why in the world did God wait, amen, to the birth of his son, amen, to say goodwill towards men because because it seems like amen we ought to have goodwill all the time but but then I begin to look in the word of God and I begin to understand spiritually amen that the bonds was broken with Adam amen and goodwill had to take a vacation for a little while because Adam amen disobeyed God and because he disobeyed God amen he plunged and plummeted all of us into a, a sinful nature and because now all of us is born into a sinful nature. Hallelujah. Amen. God, God couldn't give us the gift of goodwill. Yes. Hallelujah. But then there was Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then there was somebody said, and then there was Jesus. And there was Jesus. Hallelujah. And Jesus came. And watch this. And when Jesus came. He stepped out of heaven, took off his glory robe, put on, put on flesh, amen, and decided to come, amen, just as you and me. And when he came, he came, amen, he had no sin. And because he had no sin, amen, that means something special happened. Amen. Instead of grace leaving the world, Grace came into the world. I'm talking to somebody right now. Goodwill, goodwill, watch this, listen to me right now. Goodwill, amen, is grace entering into your life. Oh, you're missing, you're missing, you're missing it. You're missing, you're missing it. Amen, amen, praise the Lord. I'm getting so hot up in here right now. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, that means that although you struggle, hallelujah, amen, you got some goodwill. Although people misunderstand you, you got goodwill. Although they lie on you, you got goodwill. Although they leave you and forsake you, amen, you still got Goodwill. Amen. Although your money's low, amen, you still got goodwill. Can I get a witness? That's why I begin to understand we've been laying door for a night. But goodwill comes in the morning. That's why I can't complain, but I won't complain. Hallelujah. I can give up, but I won't give up. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Because when I want to break down, God fills me back up again. 
Well, the Lord would turn around. God says, look to the hills. For which comes my help. All of my help. Come, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got your wind surrounding me. They said the angels of the multitude. And they started singing, Hosanna. Praise be to God. So I got a gospel for you. Come on. And then I'm gone. Hallelujah. That's why. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for you, Willie. Amen. Hallelujah. Grateful for you, Kevin. Hallelujah. Grateful for you, Portia. Hallelujah. Grateful for you, Brother Neil. I'm grateful for you. But if y'all not here, I'm going to have to praise him anyhow. Hallelujah. If y'all not here, I still gotta praise you. If no music here, I still gotta praise you. No drama here, I still gotta praise you. Yeah, I know I'm wrong. Through the valley of the shadow. In the name of the Father. 
name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Let all the God children say amen. I'm just thinking about all the struggles that we've been through. And we've been through some struggles together. Wow. All the fights. <laughs> wow. Stones don't even bother. Young kids don't know how good they got. 
I don't even want to pour the pot of water. Shoot. Shoot. I remember back in the day, you see, all your pretty ladies get got your perms on and stuff like that. Y'all good. I remember the day my mama used to fry my, fry my sister's hair. You know, that hot, that hot, that hot, that hot. That straight and cold, right? And she put that grease up in there and <laughs> And I remember my sister tried to move, she got red, my mom hand moved so fast. Struggling days. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. See, y'all done took it too far now. Y'all done took it too far. Amen. Hope. Love. Peace. That joy. Amen. Praise the Lord. I stand corrected. This is peace. Right? You see, I told you you need help. So this one's supposed to look like to Really? We started the new tradition. Amen. Praise God. You don't understand. I'm, I'm trying to wrestle with these matches. And I'm trying to embarrass myself in front of y'all. This is what they gave me, sis. This is what they gave me. And they left it here all these weeks. Didn't they? Nobody bought it on night or anything. No, thank you. I'm kidding. Walk up like you do this. Yeah, stop it, stop it. This is serious. Serious. This is what happened when you're gone. This is what happened. Our house is just like doing whatever they want to do. This one here is y'all. This is called Goodwill. Goodwill. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's good will. Amen. And then on tomorrow, we're going to do it all over again. <laughs> Tomorrow's 10 o'clock. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow's 10 o'clock. And y'all don't bring me no lie this tomorrow. We're going to start with the old matches. we go finish with the old matches. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good will. Amen. Good will. Advent season. At this time, we are so grateful to open up the doors of our church, the doors of our family. May you rise to your feet. There may be somebody under the sound of my voice that does not have a church home, and you would like to make this place your home. We invite you now to come on down and be a part of our church. Family. What is your name, my dear? Bernice Spring. 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 Excuse me. Amen. Amen. I'm not that good with names, so forgive me. All right. All right. But, but I am good to love and loving my people. I'm not good like that. Amen. And I'm grateful that you decided to come to be a part of our church family. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to, we haven't been, done this. And I really want to get a couple of hymn books. 
Amen. If I can. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let me help you out a little bit. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. You know, we have these rituals that, that we have here. And I try my best to keep up with them. Amen. And that is on page seven. Page seven. You can have that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank, thank you. Amen. Amen. I think I left my glasses aside. Uh -huh. I, I know you need your glasses too, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. I know we all need glasses. Amen. Amen. You mind if I call your sister Bernice? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. Sister Bernice, this church was founded in 1958 by a man called John E. Dunn. Um, he was a short man. <laughs> um, shorter than me. Y'all may take your seats, by the way. Thank y'all. Y'all may take your seats. He was a short man. And um, we actually started around the corner from here. And um, on Candlewood in the little shack back in 1958. And then he bought this piece of land and built this church. And it was initially called the Brentwood AME Zion Church. Later on, I think back in 1973, if my history serves me right, it was renamed uh, the Durham AME Zion Church after him. And um, we standing upon the shoulders of others. I, I tell you all that because I am so grateful to stand upon their shoulders. And I'm grateful that you have decided to also be a part of this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Carrying on the work. Amen. And so we're going to ask you a few questions. Amen. We on we on the bottom of page seven. Amen. We right here, and I'm I, I'm not going to go through all of that. Amen. But I'm going to go to page number eight. Amen. I'm going to go to page number eight right here, and I'm just going to go directly into the questions. Okay. You have by the grace of God made the decision to follow Christ and serve Him. Yeah. Which decision we trust is not based upon any worthiness in yourself, but solely on the merits of our Lord Jesus Christ and his death and intercession for us. That the church may know your purpose, you will answer the questions I am now to ask you. Have you an earnest desire to be saved from your sins? Will you guard yourself against all things contrary to the teaching of God's word and endeavor to lead a holy life following the commandments of God? Amen. Are you so proposed to give reverent attendance to upon appointed means of grace in the ministry of the word and the private and public worship of God? Amen. And with that said, I welcome you into the door of Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because, amen. Because of COVID protocols and stuff like that. Well, you know, I would have to ask the rest of the congregation to come and greet you, but because of that, that's usually our tradition. But because of COVID changes and things, why don't you wave at me? Wave at me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, put your hand together. Right, we're going to lift up our offering. Amen. We're going to lift up our offering, sister. 
Amen. Let's do this very quickly. Amen. Praise Him. Amen. Praise Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Press down and shake together one another. Shall God get back unto you? Not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, you know, give your tithes and your offers into the storehouse, and then maybe meet to my father's house. And prove that I will not open up the windows of heaven for y'all a blessing. That you will not, that you will have not, nor will not have room enough to receive. Amen. You can give through so many different ways. Give up by cash app, checks made out to 1891 Edge Avenue, Bayshore, New York, 11706. Call P.O. Box 562, Bayshore, New York, 11706. I am really good at this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No matter which way you do it, just give and God will smile unto you. Amen. Amen. I gave my offering through electronic means. I'm grateful to give it. Amen. Lord, bless this offering in the hands that has given it. We thank you for this in Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you so very much. Amen. Now, I did say that we're going to sow a seed. Amen. Into um, Brother Willie's life. Amen. You know, that's the way we like to do it around here. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just going to start off. Amen. Amen. Um, do we have like a little basket by the organ here? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Spotlight Sister Brown. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. They want, they want to bear me down and um, struggle, but it's going to be all right. And the is your best, your best is yet to come. Amen. With that said and done, we need to be dismissed at this time. It's so good to see you back home, young lady. Amen. Amen. That's able to keep you for form to present your thoughts before the throne of grace with the seed of joy. Now to only wise God our creator, be glory, majesty, power, dominion, both now, henceforth, and forevermore. Once again, God, thank you for this abundantly blessed service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continue to be blessed because you are blessed. Amen. 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 It was good. It was good.